Doctor Jenks, play math. Hello, my play math friends. It's Doctor Jen. Welcome back to my channel. What can you do with ten black dots? In today's book, you can see so many different things that can be made with dots. Don't forget to watch all the way through because when I finish the book, a fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? Ten Black Dots by Donald Cruz. What can you do with ten black dots? One dot can make a sun or a moon when day is done. Two dots. Can make the eyes of a fox, or the eyes of keys that open locks. Three dots can make a snowman's face, or beads for stringing on a lace. Four dots can make seeds from which flowers grow, or the knobs on a radio. Five dots can make buttons on a coat, or the portholes of a boat. Six dots can make marble that you hold. Half are new, the rest are old. Seven dots can make the spots on a snake, or stones turned up by a garden rake. Eight dots can make the wheels of a train. Carrying freight through sun and rain. Nine dots can make toy soldiers standing in rank, or the pennies in your piggy bank. Ten dots can make balloons stuck in a tree. Shake the branch and set them free. Count them. Are there really ten? Now we can begin again, counting dots from one to ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The end. Let's do a fun after reading activity. To do this activity, you'll need my free printable template, crayons, markers, glue stick. And black dots. First, kids are going to draw their own pictures using black dots.
and then write a sentence telling how many dots you used and what you made with them. Kids can make several pages and make a book. By counting black dots on each page, kids can practice counting. Thank you for watching Play Math. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, subscribe to this channel. See you next time.